Now, if you want a straight handstand, gymnasts only really work in this reverse position because with the normal position, it's more natural to arch. With this position, it's more, yeah, you can still sort of arch, but it's much more natural to get into the straight handstand position. So I'll cover some of the points on that. So I'll show you if I was to arch in this position, I might fall out of it, it'll be odd, but my stomach will then come and meet the wall. Come on. There is no arch. <laughs> but if I'm here, if you're here, this is how a lot of people end up in the handstand. It's really more of an incline. But the closer you get your hands to the wall, and then you bring your head through, you really tuck at the hips. And you should be able to, uh, your, your nose will be touching, but you should be able to get here touching and you're not really touching with the stomach. So a big, another aha for me, when I was doing this, I was trying to, in the position, tuck the tailbone here to get that position, but instead, think of bringing your ribs down. You can do both and you get in this position. This is where it takes a lot more shoulder flexibility because to be in what's known as this hollow body position, which you need for the straight handstand, and at the same time, you need to have the hands overhead. So if you just get here and raise the hands overhead, notice that if you get to a certain point, you may disconnect. Go ahead and try this. We'll actually cover the hollow position for anyone that doesn't know that. Laying on the ground, you're going to do the reverse of the Superman you did before. So you bring your legs and hands off the ground. Really, it's basically sort of a crunch. You're pushing your lower back into the ground, keeping that open shoulder position. This is necessary for all gymnastic type movements. You move, you fly through this different position. Glad to do it up here. I want to show you one key point on if you have this position right or not. Go ahead and get there. Okay, I should not be able to get my hand under the lower back, which you're good. Yeah. So you should be really tight here and just work on holding this.